Hello, my darlings. Welcome to your daily mini tarot and oracle reading. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. I am going to use my quantum oracle for you today uh, to pull the overriding uh, theme for the reading, the overriding main message from spirit, and then followed by my druid craft tarot for you. So let's see what wishes to come out. If the reading resonates or I resonate as a reader, don't forget to hit that like button, to comment, to subscribe if you enjoy my readings or to become a member of this channel. The link is in the description box below. Alongside of that, as my gift back to you, I do offer 30 minute pay what you can online readings. This is alongside my regular 45 minute and hour readings. And the details again of those are in the description box below with the link through to my website to book. So let's see what wishes to come out for you today, my darlings, for your daily message. Thank you, Spirit, what wishes to come out. We have got a great achievement has come out for you alongside the vast universe. So this is a reminder for us that actually <laughs> the universe is um, what we call God, spirit, um, uh, the angelic realms. And it is in its essence. God, the universe gave me the word omniverse when I first started talking about the universe and omni means all there is arranged in a and verse means arranged in a in a rhythmic pattern in a metrical rhythmic pattern so it is about our understanding that the universe is literally this wonderful extraordinary vast limitless creative life force energy and we are an aspect a part of that and when we are in connection and all the time we're in connection with all things around us that connection is a vibrational relationship and we have at all times different depending on how we're oscillating a different um, but constant vibrational signature that can go up and down as well so this card here is to tell you that with this great achievement you are in vibrational alignment uh, at this time for something that is a great achievement for you and it's something that you've been uh, preparing for as well my darling so um and it is to show you that when we're in vibrational alignment, when we're in harmony with, with when we're in accord with the whole of the universe is playing this harmonious, beautiful vibrational song to the creator. And when you are in alignment, you are playing that perfect note. You are vibrationally in accord with and therefore you are manifesting Um in divine design for you so perfectly now what i love to see with this event with the great achievement it is to say that to get ready for this okay and it still needs some effort that you know the table is has been set it's been set beautifully um it's looking stunning and at the same time alongside of that it's set for more than one person there so this for me says that this is a achievement that is uh not only achievement for yourself but achievement for others it is something to celebrate it is something to join people together i feel it's related to whatever it is because of your creative life force energy it's something to do with your creative endeavors at this time um and let's have a look to see what else has come out and this is also um just that reminder as i go back to say that there the, the it has taken you because this is a beautiful table in this card so it's taken both love commitment um a creative skill and effort as i've said to create something really quite magical for yourself. And it is a great achievement. Uh, so let's have a look to see, thank you, what has come out. So we have the tower and the six of swords has come out for you. So this is to say that whatever my darling has um, disappeared and dissolved in your life, whatever has been dismantled in your life, has been because of natural life force energy, creating a new, releasing the old conditioned energetic structure to make way for this new, more expansive energetic structure for yourself with the tower. And the six of swords is the journey that you've made since then. And I feel that this has been a journey that was very much decided at a soul level, but at the same time now, do you see here with her face, she is content, she is at peace with the pace of life. You still carry some hurt, 
with you, you still carry some energy of um, sadness within you and you recognize that, but it's not like a sort of badge of honor or anything. It's just something that is there, but you carry it with you to, to almost, it's like a sort of an aspect of the past that reminds you of how far you've come. I trust that makes sense because you also take with you so much um, understanding and truth and clarity in this situation. And spirit is recognizing all of the work that you have prepared um, to do this. And it's been a journey, my darling, that it's almost like you've gone to the other side. Uh, this has been very much a sort of death and rebirth for you and a way of way of approaching life um knowing thank you spirit knowing that there is because she's looking you know opportunity is awaiting her and she's also ready for a little bit of an adventure let's see what else wishes to come out for this great achievement you're ready for this achievement my darling you're ready you know and if this is to do with as I said, it could be to do with work and new beginnings and work. It could be to do with new beginnings and love. Whatever it is, there is a white rose in there for purity. So um, you've got three cards have come out. The star, the ace of pentacles, and there is that three of swords. So let me show you these cards. So you've got the star card. This is the commitment you have made to yourself, my darling, to, and it's a big commitment, to... Um, it's not just to release from the past. It is to release. Oh, I'm so sorry. Bear with me. This card for you is not just about releasing from the past. It is in its essence, the card for you about you understanding that in the releasing, there has been a sort of dismantling of yourself. Um, she's not wearing any clothes here. So this is like, it is the, the, the image, the persona, the character that you were before this tower happened has disappeared. And in its place now is someone who is embracing who they are with the understanding that actually there's so much more than who they thought they were. I trust that makes sense. Um, and the star card is a sign from spirit of achievements, success, um, hope, blessings to come out. And alongside of that, you had this ace of pentacles and it's time now, spirit says, you see with the bear coming out of the cave here, it's time, the bear represents that reclusiveness that you may have had, that solitude that you have had, the rest, the reflection, the renewal. Spring is coming and there is this Ace of Pentacles. And this, oh, it's got a mark on my card. This is a big sign for you. It's a sign that you can't miss. And, uh, and it is something that is encouraging you now to take a step forward with those renewed fresh steps of spring. Um, it's very early signs of spring. You've got the dawn coming up here. So I feel that this is something that's going to come in um, perhaps earlier than you might imagine and if it hasn't already come in now. Um, but it's something that you are curious about and intrigued about. But this Ace of Pentacles is a gift. It's a gift in return for what you have let go of. And you have let go of in a very peaceful way as well. As I said, you were still carrying the, the hurt and there is that three of swords. But actually, as I said, it's it's almost a, a, a an old wound, an old mark that you carry within you that is just a reminder for you of how far you've come. It's just a reminder for you of how strong you are, how courageous you are as well. And I feel that uh, with these marks, I feel that you've also, thank you, Spirit, you've also been sharing information of your journey, advice and guidance. You've been sharing it with others. You've been sharing it perhaps with those younger than yourself or those that are in need of that information. Trees share all sorts of information through their roots to other trees, um, extraordinarily so. 
and uh, that information can be warnings of danger of certain beetles, it can be warnings of drought, but they share information. Um, and in fact, there is, you know, one tree, if we're talking about death and rebirth, there is one tree, I, I think it's the, the uh, one of the evergreen trees, there's a particular beetle that attacks it. And as the tree, uh, it will send out a warning to other trees, but as the tree is, is dying, it sends through its root systems, the sugar that it holds in order to, to make the other trees stronger around. And so I feel that with whatever you are doing, my darling, within the network of support you have around you, I feel that in this more peaceful state of being and that death and rebirth kind of tower moment for you and the renewal, that your journey is one of not only uh, for yourself, but that great achievement card, it is one for you to share with others. And it is one where others enjoy your success, but also recognize the achievements that you've that you have done in your life, what you have overcome as well. And the Queen of Cups has now appeared. You're very much in touch with this um, emotional flow that's happening to allow things to be as they are, to allow your feelings to wash through you, to not try and hold on to anything, to recognize that feelings come and go and uh, not to resist any of them, what we might consider negative or positive as well. And the Queen of Cups, she's very much focused on what is fulfilling for her. She is looking beyond to the horizon and she has a gift of understanding uh, and feeling emotions feeling energy as well so beautiful beautiful uh energy i'm just going to pull one more for this omniverse card thank you no oh, blew out the fool there you are the fool um you've also got the princess of swords which is the page of swords um and i feel you've got this devil card uh is this the devil card here? Oh, yeah. So you came away from this situation. You came away, my darling, uh, with so much understandings from um, a relationship or relationships that were created, manifested for yourself, by yourself, in order for you to understand what relationships really mean for you and what you've learned from them and what uh how we you know one of the most extraordinary things is to see a relationship as a, a an amazing teaching tool about ourselves, and to be very aware that we can sleep walk through a relationship not truly understanding what's going on but oh my goodness you've taken away information from relationships you've had in your life and you've made a decision uh based on that to look at relationships differently and to look at who you are an aspect to that relationship not just the energy of the relationship itself. Uh, the Princess of Swords is, uh, you know, a choice that you've made to seek information, to seek clarity, to perhaps let things go, let things fall away, to move in a new direction. And you have, and the Spirit is saying, with this Omniverse, this Universe card, with the Fool, uh, this is with God's love for many of you, and this is a, a new relationship that perhaps is coming in, but it's one that's coming in in divine design for you because you're ready to receive that energy now. You're in alignment with it. And uh, this full card is one where you're, you see, he's holding the mistletoe here. So you're, you're ready to kiss somebody. You're ready to have uh, just the start of something. This is the energy that you've been giving out. This is your signature that you've been giving out. You're ready. There's no holding you back now. There is loyal friends who are supporting you on this journey. You're ready to take a leap of faith and you're ready to share as well. I love this sort of great achievement. You're ready to share, my darling. Um, this is fresh new beginnings for you and it is within your divine design, my darling. The Ace of Pentacles, something beautiful and it's with I feel for many of you with regards to that. But there we are. Um, I am moving now on to the February readings. Uh, as I said, I'm starting with those star signs I didn't get to do in, in January. So keep an eye out for those today. Uh, they'll go out to the members first and then they'll come to, uh, I'll put them on the main channel a little bit later on. So much love to you all. I look forward to doing another reading for you tomorrow. In the meantime, take care and have a really beautiful day, my darlings. Bye-bye.